Okay, so I'm Hugh Simpson Wells, CEO of Optum Computer Group. I'm going to be talking about, uh, I'm making a presentation uh, on the subject, which is MIM versus Azure AD Connect. Are they the same thing? Well, they're not, they're different, and I'm going to tell you why, why that's important. But we also have available for QA at the end, and I would like to keep the question to the end. We have Andreas Kelman, formerly of, uh, for, formerly the MIM and Azure AD Connect program manager for Microsoft. Jimmy Anderson, MVP, Enterprise Mobility. James Cowling, our CTO, and I'll go straight on. So what are the differences between MIM and Azure AD Connect? Why do they matter? Followed by, as I say, a bit of a conversation Q&A. The recording will be available. Somebody's still making strange noises and mute if you're not talking. Uh, so, what is MIM? Well, it's Microsoft Identity Manager, but it's had a lot of name changes, and now we have Azure AD Connect, also based on this family. Now, Azure AD Connect uh, also has its own timeline, and DERSYNC came along, first of all, based on ILM and FIM, and that was a single forest only, didn't support any customization, it's considered end of life, really shouldn't be using that anymore. As a stopgap, we had uh, FIM 2010 having an Azure AD connector. So we used FIM and connected to Azure AD. And this allowed us to handle multi-forest uh, environments for large customers. The Microsoft word is don't be using this for new implementations. Next, we had Azure AD Sync, which handled multi-forest, introduced the idea of declarative provisioning, which we'll be talking about some more. Um, allowed customization. That is also end of life. And now we have the grand uh, merging of these two, um, so we can handle single and multi-forest. Um, it uh, also configures ADFS, which I'll talk about briefly, and handles other authentication methods, and this is what we're focusing on. Uh, we can play spot the difference a little bit, because if you look at the synchronization service manager, you could, uh, at a glance, not realize which is which. I'm sure the eagle-eyed of you will spot that this is Azure AD Connect and not uh, MIM, but they do look very similar. So does that mean they're the same? Well, no, it doesn't. So let's get straight into it. The big stuff first. MIM uh, is actually actually comes with a number of different components within the MIM brand. So there's the Sync Engine, which is very much going to be our focus today. Uh, but it also had with it a portal, which gave you self-service password reset, group management and workflows. Most of those workloads have moved to the cloud. So we're not going to be thinking about the portal at all. It also had certificate management and behold role management. If you look at Azure AD Connect, it also is a number of different components. There's the sync part, which again is going to be the main focus today, but also Azure AD Connect Health because it tells us about the sync engine. And there is also a provisioning connector which handles some use cases and we will at least mention. I'm not going to get too involved with the other two components, ADFS and Ping Federate. So I'm going to be focusing on a comparison of these pieces. Okay, I want to focus before we get into the differences on the things which are apparently the same, but they're just not supported. Um, now, MAs, first of all, are called connectors. Um, that's a, a slight confusion for us MIM people, but that's okay. The first thing I want to say is that when we look at this interface, very few of those actions on the right are supported. Most of the functionality there has moved to the wizard, and we'll be talking about the wizard later. You could use run, you could use stop, you can search the connector space. You can you configure new run profiles, but take care. First of all, when you configure run profiles, you'll find that there are five already pre-configured by the wizard for each of our connectors. Indeed, if you try changing any, you'll find that there are only these five, the, the double ones, delta import, delta sync, and so on. They've gone. So the, the important thing to grasp here is that there is a scheduler, more about that later, and it expects to see just the five uh, run profiles that you see here for each connector, and may well not work if there are additional ones in place or if you mess about with them. So while you may be able to add new uh, run profiles, and you might want to for different purposes, you should probably remove them afterwards. That aside, we're looking at uh, very few of these other ones that uh, you can mess about with. You're not supposed to create any uh, connectors here uh, or, or delete them. 
or export or import or update them and so on or a fresh scheme as all of this will be handled by the wizard um, anything else is outside support and I'm not going to be talking about stuff as outside support um, if you look at the properties of one of these connectors there's very little that you can change here most of this has been configured by the wizard there are a few details I haven't got time to go into the only major standout is that you can select containers on your AD uh, sorry the wrong way there on your AD um, uh, connectors you might would want to gradually bring in different users devices whatever um, the operations tool much unchanged metaverse search unchanged the metaverse designer um, looks a lot the same but it's pretty much been replaced by the wizard almost the only thing you're likely to do there is add an attribute there's no joiner tool at all because and we'll go into this later uh, a lot of the all the manual actions have gone and if you look at the file menu you'll see that the import server configuration export server configuration are grayed out uh, they're just not supported indeed uh, you'll notice that all the things to do with the configuration exporting import are not supported as i've said and that's because when you set up uh, this you will always use the wizard and the things that you change are mostly rules which we'll talk about later and those rules can be um, migrated using PowerShell. 